Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and welcome to Puktal Monastery. Hey. This is definitely the most impressive building, fortress, I don't know how to call it, monastery of course, that I have been to uh, in this trip. Look at that. So, <coughs> right on the this is the view when you wake up in the morning a beautiful small village over there on the other side of the of the valley It's about uh, one, two days trek to come over here, depending on uh, whether you manage to get a jeep on this very uh, kind of tricky, tricky road. And uh, just to get to Zanskar, um, it takes uh, three days from uh, from Manali. So again, you have to go all around. This is a very isolated valley. So gorgeous it's really beautiful the the monks here were extremely welcoming uh, have a small community and the, the Rinpoche which is the the, the head Lama uh, for, for the whole uh, region was here yesterday so everybody was very excited in the valley you know lots of um, devotion all the way uh, to, uh, to the next village, which is about four or five hours from, from here. Look at that. I had a small little room for, for the night. And uh, up there, when you walk, this is the cave. Where uh, quite a few sages came stop and meditate I think this is the uh, gathering or meditation hall where they do the, the pujas and uh, one of these rooms here is for the Dalai Lama if he would come one day but I don't think he never made it because it's too far away and um, another one for another room for the Rinpoche just going to show you a little bit the, the cave. So they use it now for storing some wood. But this is it. I guess that uh, many centuries ago, you know, a few uh, very special saints from the Tibetan Buddhism tradition came over here and stayed why they build a whole monastery around it. You still have those little uh, doors here and my guess is that some of them are used for um, meditation still so it's possible that some monks go and isolate themselves in there for some time. You have another one over there. It. Of course, the view from here. Still have to decide if I stay here another day or go down. 
the place is really like a, a labyrinth Hey Julie. Julie. What's your name? Tenzin Namir. Tenzin Namir. It's really cool. You make food? Yes. Cook? Yes. Help cook today. <laughs> you like it here? Yes. Nice place? Hopital? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very Show. Show. Show? Oh. In a moment. It's video. Video, yes. You see, very video, special. Yeah. Video? <laughs> yeah, they're all really fun and exciting. <laughs> I'm going to show you the, the kitchen down, down yes, there. There are all the mountains. We are at about. Um, 4,000 meters elevation gets minus 20, minus 30 in the, in the winter time and the place gets pretty much almost totally uh, cut off from, from the world so the stair is going down it's really like another one of these medieval fortress the place is probably like uh, 800 so you sold Julie Julie Good morning Dad. Good morning. How are you? Very good. Good sleep, yeah. Good sleep? Yeah. This is where we gather for eating. Lutsampa. are some uh, offerings for puja yeah yeah <laughs> where I was spending uh, spending the night a room with you Hotel Hotel Monastery so I send you lots of uh, lots of bliss and joy, happiness from this very mystical place. I will be off to uh, Shingola to the pass, and then Dacha, and then uh, uh, Manali, Delhi, and off to Sweden very soon. Take care, I love you.